Bern, Six Nations time, full house, Ireland come to visit. It doesn't really, I'd imagine, get much better than that. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a big game. Uh, all the Six Nations uh, games are, are important, and and we'd, we'll certainly kick off with one of the form teams at the moment. If you look at what they've did in November and. Uh, our record in the last two outings hasn't been particularly good against them, so we understand it'll be difficult. But at the same time, there's a lot of um, excitement within the group to get out there and, and kick the Six Nations off with a home game at BT Murrayfield. Uh, so there's been a few nerves during the week, and um, and uh, we've um, the players have you know put together I think a, a reasonable plan to take these guys on. One of the things when you're when you're looking at tries that Scotland have scored in the last couple of years, it's almost an expect the unexpected with Scotland at times. I mean, is that something that, that pleases you? Yes, they can play with structure, but also they look to take the opportunity when they can. Yeah, I think they're understanding uh, the, the, the qualities that are within the group, and if they do simple things well, uh, it'll open up opportunities. And whether it's just looking up the paddock and, and seeing, seeing space and, and playing to that space, creating space just by being powerful in a carry and, and using footwork and those are, those are sorts of things that the players have been working on and they are, um, they're getting better and better at creating opportunities and, um, and shutting down the opposition's opportunities as well because I think defensively there's been some good work done also so uh, it's nice to be able to put um, a full performance in, have we done that uh, you know probably we're still waiting for that, that game where everything clicks and and um, and we nail it. So, you know, that's a good opportunity against a team like Ireland uh, to to try and put in, you know, a best best performance up to date. And I think that's what the players are focusing on. In terms of the some of the combinations, the the back row combination, the mix of that, how happy are you? With, and Ryan's been in, in great form, and then Josh and, and, and Hamish. It's it's mobile, but it's quite abrasive as well. Yeah, we've gone gone for Josh's carry. I mean, he's going to dent the opposition and, and get them going backwards. He's hard to stop, Josh, as we know. Ryan, very, very athletic. He's a good link player and he's good at the line-out. Line-out defence will be important. And Hamish has come on. It's really um, really exciting for Hamish to kick on from a, from a November series, which was satisfactory for him, and then go on to the, what's going to be a little bit more gnarly uh, Six Nations. And in terms of the, the front row, again, you've got someone like Xander, under-20s, last year and now he's getting more caps under his belt. How how does that experience help a, a player like Xander develop? Yeah, the experience is good. Uh, it, it's so important to, to, to make a decision and then uh, follow it up through you know a process to, to become better. And it's always that asking questions of yourself and not be satisfied. Well, Xander's at the start of his international career and we we're happy and he'd be happy with what he did in, uh, in November, but it just gets tough. It just gets tougher. Uh, and um, and people have had a look at him now, so you know he's he's not the new kid on the block really. He's been out there and he's had Test match footy, so you know he's gonna he's gonna have to um, find more resources, better resources, develop his game. But he's assisted with good good people around him, and um, his club form has been good. And look, he's he's there with uh, Fraser's been coming on. Uh, we've got experience on the bench that'll help us. You know, Forty's in there with. Uh, John Barclay, so you know, hopefully the balance we can maintain pressure uh, start to finish, and Simon Bergen gets his first uh, first cap if he comes on. So there's a, there's a bit of an there's um, anticip great anticipation to get this game started. There's a little bit of um, you know, nervousness as well, which which I think is a good thing, mm -hmm. and um, and combine that with you know good dose of energy fueled by the crowd and, and local support should you know get us going. And just one final question: getting those. Those strike runners, because you know, think of it in Stewart's try against Ireland last last year, and, and Tommy as well, and, and Sean. How important to get those guys in a, in a bit of space so that they can attack? Yeah, I think it's really it's really important, and, and Ireland will be wary of them, uh, and we know that they will have you know, done a good job defensively to try and to try and shut us down. So it means that Hugh Jones uh, gets an opportunity for him. Perhaps he'll find space. They won't look at him quite as much. Sean Maitland, you know, they, he may be able to surprise them. Uh, uh, Alex Dunbar has, has developed uh, things to his game, and it might be a kick in behind that, that, that turns, you know, gives them something they're unexpected uh, that they weren't looking at. And, uh, you know, that's where the game will break open, just by being able to do something. And that's why we develop skill sets, just to be able to give you more options, don't become one dimensional. And these players are working hard to try and do that. So uh, it'll, it'll, it's, a, it's a good test. We'll have to think on our feet.